Grad student accused of killing his academic advisor. New today, we learned classes will be canceled again tomorrow. And Caudill Labs, where that shooting unfolded, will also remain closed as the investigation continues there on campus. Josh Chapin is joining us live now with more uh, following that press conference this afternoon. Josh, I know that you were there asking questions at the Carolina Inn in Chapel Hill. Walk us through your key takeaways from what uh, investigators there had to say. Amber, it is clear that the university is determined to learn from what happened this week. The university said they do have protocols in place should an incident like this happen. They believe that those protocols work, but they're going to take this incident and try and do better the next time. As you said, we were here once again inside the Carolina Inn. We heard from Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz as well as UNC Police Chief Brian James giving us the latest on this investigation from the university's perspective. We know the chancellor has met with the family of Gigi Yan as well as his faculty colleagues. We learned this afternoon, sadly, that Professor Yan is also the father of two. Investigators confirmed the suspect, Tylee Shi, who we saw in court this afternoon, walked into the Caudill Labs building here on campus and targeted Professor Yan. There were many other people in the building at the time as well. She was later found in a neighborhood 10 minutes from campus and arrested. At this time, it is still too early to establish a definitive motive. This will be something that we will continue to determine throughout the course of the investigation. In this time of profound sadness, I'm grateful for the strength of our Tar Heel community. And I urge us to continue to build and strengthen our community together. Strengthening that community together, classes canceled. Amber, as you said, tomorrow they'll be ringing the bell at 102 to come together as a community. Investigators also clarified this afternoon that she was found not at his home on Williams Circle, but he was found walking home. His home was about a mile away from where we saw him being taken into custody by investigators yesterday. His car, she's car, was found on campus. That was impounded and will be part of evidence in this investigation. The gun that he used to target Professor Yan has not been found just yet. Investigators still looking for that tonight. Amber and Steve, back to you. And the chancellor and the police chief saying there today that the protocols were followed. They did as they have trained to do, but they yeah. also vowed to uh, to learn from what happened on campus yesterday. And they'll have increased uh, security on campus, not only for public safety, but also just to help with a sense of security for that uh, campus that's been through so much. Josh, we appreciate your update. We know you're following mm -hmm. for any latest details. Thank you. We want to take you to a live look from Chapel Hill, where it appears that investigators are looking for that gun that was used in yesterday's shooting. This is actually some video that was shot uh, just minutes ago, but it is near where the suspect was arrested on Williams Circle. We heard from UNC police today. As Josh just reported, they have not recovered that weapon, but they have been scouring this uh, neighborhood here searching. If anything comes from this search, of course, we're staying close to the scene and we will let you know. And the other big update today, that shooting suspect in court in Orange County this afternoon, Ty Lei Shi. Now charged with murder, UNC police say more charges could be filed. Sean Coffey live now in Hillsboro with more on this. Uh, the suspect denied bond today, Sean, but the DA making it clear he won't be seeking the death penalty. Yeah, that's right, Steve. Uh, DA Neiman did say he will not be seeking the death penalty. It was one of the things he campaigned on. But as we expected, after reading the arrest warrants in this case, prosecutors are alleging that that Tyle Shi shot and killed Dr. Yan, temporarily paralyzing UNC's campus yesterday and putting thousands more on lockdown for hours. And the 34-year-old PhD student was wearing an orange jumpsuit as he walked into the courtroom earlier, handcuffs with chains around his waist and his ankles. He used a Mandarin interpreter for the proceeding, but he never said anything publicly to the court. Judge Sherry Merle informed him of the charges and his rights, and then he uh, appointed the Capitol Defender's Office to represent him, which is standard practice for capital charges. She continues to be held without bail. His next court appearance, a probable cause hearing, was scheduled for September 18th. Afterwards, DA Jeff Neiman said there were details he hoped to present today, but was unable to because she's lawyer did not contest bail. There's nothing that's a higher priority than protecting the integrity of this prosecution, and there are very important ethics rules about what a prosecutor is allowed to say, for, and they're there for good reason, and I need to abide by those. And so it is not because I'm trying to be cagey with you all. It's just that the last thing I'd want to do is say anything that could jeopardize the prosecution of, of any case. 
But to recap, here's what we know about Xi thus far. He's a Chinese citizen and graduate of Wuhan University in China before he came to the States receiving his master's in mechanical engineering from LSU in December of 2021. According to UNC's website, he joined Dr. Yan's research group in January of 2022. He had a background in nanoparticle synthesis and light matter interaction. And as we were also able to discern from that press conference and Josh just mentioned, there's no update today on the status of finding that murder weapon, as well as whether or not additional charges will be filed and uh, and a possible motive here. There's still a lot we'll have to follow up on here. DA Neiman also said that there could be more information we'll find and will be gleaned out of search warrants in the coming days, something we'll be sure to check on here at the Orange County Courthouse. For now, we're live in Hillsborough. Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.